residents of Isinjo district, the home of the Chieftains of Military Intelligence Director, Major General Abel Kandihu, have this morning held a peaceful demonstration, protesting against what they described as illegal sanctions that the U.S. government imposed against Major General Kandihu and other army officers of violations of human rights. These held placards possessing different wordings to show their dismay in Isindu town. They also gave a one-week ultimatum to the U.S. government to lift the sanctions against these army officers, lest they consider mobilizing the masses to storm the U.S. embassy in Kampala. We are going to organize a general, a countrywide demonstration on American embassy within one week. If they don't withdraw the sanctions, if they don't apologize to Ugandan country. The angry residents say the U.S. government shouldn't at any point in time involve itself in matters of a foreign or independent country or government governed by its own laws. So there is no way how the American government can come up and no other country than us. For us from Isinjiro district, we know him better than those people from America. The image they are creating on Abel, General Abel Kandiho is not the real image. General Abel Kandiho is a general of the highest level of integrity. He respects human rights. He has fought for democracy in Uganda. He respects the rule of law. They also state that if neighboring countries like Rwanda, Tanzania, DRC and Kenya have not complained about Major General Kandiho, where does the U.S. government get the moral authority to slap unnecessary sanctions on General Kandiho? But can you imagine someone from America? I don't know how many miles from Uganda to America, from America to come and say that this is the general and this general is doing A, B, C, D. I, I, I don't accept and I don't agree with the, the decisions of American government. Loku finds no reason in the U.S. sanctions against General Kandiho whom the community hold in higher esteem in the fight against global terrorism, which is a cardinal focus of the U.S. government foreign policy on the global war against terrorism. They now want the U.S. government to slap similar sanctions on their army officers who terrorized the people of Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan and other countries. The Uganda People's Defense Force in a recently published statement also oppose the U.S. sanctions against General Kandiho without giving him a fair hearing and making prayer consultations. You want cooperation? No, 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 no.